little bit more powerful. Yeah, exactly, man. <laughs> Hey, we are at the, the Viking Market. We found the Viking Market and we figured we would uh, bring out the camera and uh, show you guys how the market is and try some stuff. Very good. Beer. And all the, the drinks. You want to get a beer? No. Oh. I like how it says beer and then it says good beer. <laughs> Look at that. That's fancy. That yeah. is real Viking heritage. Special uh, seasoning. So we have like two parts of Denmark, right? We have the mainland, which is where... That's not where we are. The main big land, which is not... not that's like the Kona version of Denmark, if you know what Kona is. And then the, this is the part where like Schilland. This is like the Copenhagen area. And this okay. is from the Kona place. It's from the Vest you skip. Yeah. Do you want to get some like a... It's a yo-yo. It's a yo-yo. What did you get? We got some fish salt which will be utilized in the future fishing streams because obviously we did, we went fishing not so long ago and uh, it didn't go that great but we're gonna do it again one day surely and then we're gonna have some fish salt to put on it so it's like a I guess it's like a salt with like a bunch of flavorings there's like some pepper some sea salt finical dill chili parsley ginger and coriander and stuff like that it's like a little uh, a little mixture of stuff and we will utilize this for a fish that we will definitely cook and catch one day like brooches and stuff like that. I really want to get a horn though. A horn? Yeah. There's a, there's like the really, so like we, we start down here. This is like a, this is what we drink with in Denmark. This is like a common thing to use to drink in Denmark. Like every Danish person has one of these basically. Yeah. And uh, this is like the, the meat, this is the small one. We give these to kids, right? So they have like, uh, when they drink the meat or beer, the kids drink it from this. Kids of, drink meat and beer? You know, in the, the raw Danish Viking heritage. Yeah, they do. Okay. This is like back in the day, right? And then this one is like for the, uh, the grown-ups. Mm -hmm. That's a big boy. And then mm -hmm. we have the, the fancy one over here with the little uh, gilt on it, I guess. Yeah, yeah and they're all, uh, they're, they're, it's horn. Yeah, from which animal? Yeah. Oh. Okay. A little sword. If you take this around your waist, oh. you can like, you can see that like this. It's a little bit short, but it'll do, it'll do. It's about how you use it, right? It's not like the actual girth or the length. It's about the, the way you wield it. Oh, it's actually a working crossbow. Yeah, you do this and you put it in like that. Yeah, that's pretty neat. This is really cool. It's all the Lord of the Rings ones, look. It's a hobbit-sized weapon they... for a hobbit-sized person. What do you mean? It's like a, like a little dagger, you know? something called, we call Brand de Mendler in Denmark. It is basically, it's a very common like street snack, I guess, if you go to Copenhagen, if you go pretty much anywhere where there's like a carnival or a, uh, an amusement park or anything like that, especially on the main street of Copenhagen, they have these very often. And what it is, it's an almond that is caramelized in sugar. And uh, it's very crispy, it's super sweet, and it has the taste of an almond. This is a solid eight out of 10. We got food. This is a big boy. We got everything on it. It's a Danish sausage. You dip it in some ketchup, some senap mustard, and some remoulade, which is like a mayo with a bunch of flavorings and then like capers and stuff like that. You eat it. And it's good. And then we got that to pair with the sausage. We got a, uh, it's called a summer beer. I think there's like some elderflower and some stuff in it. and. Uh, Oh, that's nice. Yeah? It's, it's very lemony and it's very, very... Um, it's an, I think it has elderflower and lemon and a bunch of other spices in it too. It's very light. Very light, light summer. It is now the day after yesterday. Our camera, our camera kind of broke, so we decided to call it for the day, but the food was very good. Extremely hot today. I think it's almost 27 degrees and uh, we're scorching, but we have a few more things to see. There's some meat, there's some pancakes and stuff like that, and some herring that is very traditional Danish as well, which we will give a whirl. But we're gonna go down there and we're gonna see how it goes. Danish meat. Yeah. 
We bought some meat, 19% alcohols. So it's very, very hefty actually. And the meat is like, it's very sweet. We, I, I tasted it when we were down at the lady. She gave me a little taste test. Super, super good. We also decided to get some, oh, this is good. Uh, I don't know if we can actually open this or we can show, oh, we can. <clears throat> it's good. It's actually really cool. Like those? Yeah. They're nice. It's like a big stein. You like clash them together and like the beer of meat like goes everywhere, right? That's badass. Right. Let's taste some mead, shall we? Mead consists of three things. Uh -huh. Water, yeast, and honey. Uh, just just a small thing like the honey is just it changes it so dramatically. If you have some uh, if you have some issues in your in your relationship, then okay. share this with the missus. Like there a, will there will be no issues after this. Like bottle. a nice evening with a cherry uh, exactly. with a cherry meat. Yeah yeah no yeah. problems at all after that. I guarantee. Take it from the alcoholic. Got some. Uh, some grilled herring. Normally, uh, how we get herring is we get them pickled. So like they're like in a, in a jar full of pickled, like, I don't know, they're pickled with uh, sour stuff and stuff like that. But this one is a grilled one. The smell is like very, very fishy. Got some uh, flatbread. Flatbread. Yeah, so this is with, uh, I don't know what it's called in English actually. Tanneba is in Danish. It's a form of berry. It's like these things right here. Really? And there's also bacon in them. Bacon? So, so it's with bacon and berries. Oh, it smells. It smells really nice. It smells like um, we have something in, the, in Denmark called snowball, which is where you take a sausage and then you you swirl it with like dough and then you put it over the open fire. I think it's mainly just like the open fire smell yeah. that I really really like. It's really good. It's, it reminds me of like you know the good old days when you were a kid. This one I am interested to look at. It's good. It's a very very fishy flavor. I don't mind it too much, but you gotta really like fish for this. Yeah, fish out of ten. I am. Um, I think that was it for this little vlog, I guess. But uh, this is the the Viking market. It's a very very common thing that happens a lot. Not, not really, but I mean it's cool. It's uh, an old school way of like uh, looking back at your heritage, and there's a bunch of markets with old school like. Viking stuff and food and it's just a good vibe overall especially in the summer when there's so it's so nice weather outside and yeah I hope you guys liked the little video here thought I figured we would uh, film it since we were here and uh, get some uh, some bonus content for YouTube like so, and subscribe like and subscribe <laughs>